Hey everybody, Papa Shrimp here. Uh, just wanted to give everybody a quick update. Uh, I'm sitting at the house uh, that's still um, trying to get everything out of it. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a shot here, probably for the last time, of what I have in the house and what I have uh, kind of uh, written off as a loss and going to start all over. So check it out. Here's one of my racks that I lost. I had six tens and a 20 long. And I had a five gallon portrait in there, a 29 gallon right there. Um, so that's two tens and two fives. And then two fives and a nine gallon. There's a 30 gallon and a 10 gallon and another 29 gallon. So all of these um, housed all of my Neos, uh, all of my guppies basically, and uh, my breeding Neo Lampralagus Catapultatus. So they're all gone. And here, um, I'm going to save that 20 long, I'm going to save that 38 bow front, and I'm going to save this 29 gallon. Uh, fortunately, they should be okay, but they're going to go in storage until I can set up Fish Room 2.0. Here's what's left of my garage. I had a 29 gallon there, a 20 long there with two breeding black rams, German black rams. Here's a 40 breeder for my Catapunk fries. I had two 29 gallons there. I was going to set up another rack there, but it's dismantled now. I had two 10s there. I had a rack with three 20s there. There's some empty aquariums. Um, I had a tub there, a grow out tub, which is sitting right there. Um, I had plant, four plant tanks sitting on this desk, but this is basically fish room disassembled, deconstructed. Check out the sticker there from my buddy Stephen Conroe at SC Aquatics. I get a lot of my stuff from him. On all right, part two of my video is a box opening. Um, I ordered some shrimp and from Flip Aquatics. Love you, Rob. And I kind of wanted to show everybody what's going on. Um, bored, don't have anything else to do, and why not? If you're not ordering any fish or shrimp, then uh, at least this will give you something to do and check out. And then you can see what I'm putting in my aquariums that I have set up, which I'm about to show you in a little bit later part of this video. There's the box. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry about the lighting. Um, it's totally different for me now since I'm not in my house and wide spaces. I'm in my uh, apartment. Sweet. So I open it up and what do I have? Two medium boxes. Again, quality of packaging on Flip Aquatics part. Great job. Next step opened them up and they're both the same they both had the lids on I just took one off so you could see what it looks like on the inside upon opening there's an acclimation instruction card right there on the top but you can see everything's packaged nice wrapped up well um, I'm excited to see it's like opening a Christmas present took off the first little bit of a lid and you see I got four individual packages of shrimp Take this one off while I'm recording. I got the same thing for individual packages of shrimp. Wow. So let's see what I got. Again, nicely packaged. Very well packaged. First bag, these are red fancy tigers.
hard to get focus on these. These bags aren't totally clear, but I like the quality of them. These are Bloody Marys. So top row is being filled right now, almost done. 20 gallon long. Interesting thing is that it was completely dried out. Sabuazer Tang fragments that were left in it, you know, were completely dried out. They did feel like that Easter grass. It was kind of trippy. But here we go. Upon refill, it looks like these things might survive. So I'm going to leave them in there, check them out, see what happens. Who knows? They might re re birth I guess regenerate it's a good word here we go it's 10 gallon there another 10 gallon there 10 gallon there 10 gallon there Here's my 15 gallon survived the fire and a 20 gallon that I'm going to be setting up for plants mainly. Um, that's a dirted tank bottom. I'm going to put a black sand cap and uh, experiment. But anyways, there you guys go. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, it's not as grand or spectacular is what I used to have but it's back to the basics I guess it goes along with keeping it shrimple and that's what I'm gonna do so hopefully y'all will join me on the journey if you haven't subscribed already please do get on there and uh, spread the word y'all can check out what it's like when you have to start all over and go from 40 some odd tanks down to uh, eight Eight running right now uh, I'll get the ninth one going so y'all have a good one stay safe stay healthy keep your hands washed and we'll see you next time here's a quick update so check them out I got these uh, red pandas and King Kongs and it's been about a week almost tomorrow will be a week from when i got them put them in the tank they're just doing wonderful they're loving it i barely put the food in there right before i started the camera and they're already out enjoying their dinner Trying to get you some good shots without shaking too much. Here's the red tigers. Check them out. Same thing. I just put the food in there. These guys are loving it. Beautiful, beautiful shrimp. Love it had absolutely zero loss zero DOA they're just wonderful uh, give you a shot of the red Nia or the Bloody Marys beautiful again just beautiful look at the color amazing Also wanted to give you guys a shot of the aquarium that I said was planted. Now it's an interesting thing that I'm trying to do here. I don't know what got into me, but I basically put soil underneath um, worm casings, organic worm casings. I put about two inches, maybe two and a half, eh, about two inches, maybe two and a half. Uh, that's probably a good estimate 
And then I capped it off with uh, black fluoride sand. All of these plants are clippings and trimmings of survivors from the fire tanks. Um, I was actually amazed that all of these plants survived. In the 15 gallon tank, these are again all survivors. That's water sprite right there. Some more jungle val. This plant I don't remember, but it's really cool, so I saved it. And it's happening, it actually starting to sprout and spread, so that's cool. I got some Anubis, more chain sword. This is baby tears that happen to survive. I don't know if they'll survive the transition, but this is the tank they came from. So I'm gonna give it a shot in here. Um, but this is a pretty cool tank. Uh, again, water wisteria back there that survived. And I got a couple of Bobaltis in here. A male and a female. There's the male. Yes, I'm looking at you. He survived. I got these from Rom, of course, at Flip Aquatics and the Flip Team. Those guys are outstanding. Uh, but I love being a rare shrimp collector on his YouTube channel. I got first dibs along with the other rare shrimp collectors and I managed to have two survivors a male and a female so I'm gonna give them a shot we'll see females around here somewhere um, but there yeah they're loving this tank <laughs> I'm just I'm amazed all this growth survived these these pieces of driftwood um, and everything in these tanks were either out of water or in water, but in a house that was completely dark. So, crazy. That's why I got them and moved them over, because they're survivors. They're strong and perfect for me to do a rebuild. But anyways, I wanted to give you an update on the tanks that I got in here and what I got going on. Appreciate you hanging out and staying with me again. Drop me a line drop some comments Tell me what you think and uh, Again, thank you for joining me in the journey and be safe